And in 2016, now in Sacramento, Sheriff Scott Jones announcing today that he's running to unseat Ami Barra in the race for Congress. And as Case Area 3's Mike Lurie shows us now, two potential Republican, Republican rivals have cleared the field for Jones to run. I will not be uh, taking a leave of absence or resigning. Scott Jones insisted today he will stay on as Sacramento Sheriff while trying to unseat Congressman Ami Barra. The immigration system is broken. Jones is sparred with President Obama over immigration. Mr. President? My name is Scott Jones. And, and is running on a platform of enhancing public safety. Following Friday's terrorist attacks in Paris, Jones says the U.S. needs to be more aggressive against ISIS. If we need boots on the ground, let's put enough boots on the ground. Not 5,000, not 50,000. Let's put enough boots on the ground, not only to keep the troops safe that are there, that are being placed, but let's win this war. Doing well? Ami Barra beat Doug Osi last year in one of the most competitive and expensive congressional races nationwide. In a statement, Barra says, My priority is serving the residents of the 7th District. To date, my office has helped veterans, seniors, and many others recover more than $2 million in benefits. I also introduced and helped pass No Budget, No Pay. Because if lawmakers don't pass a budget, they shouldn't get paid. <laughs> Two potential Republican rivals, former Sheriff John McGinnis and former Congressman Doug Osi, joined together today to support Jones, essentially paving a path for Jones to win the Republican primary. McGinnis and Jones and I have talked a lot about this because Scott has been truly interested in changing the direction that the representation around here has taken. The reason I didn't run is because I might get elected and I don't want the job. So with Scott Jones now the heir apparent in the Republican race, Ami Barra will need to count on support from Democrats in a district where party registration is evenly divided. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. And joining us right now to talk a little bit more about this, KCRA 3's political analyst Kevin Riggs. And Kevin, you heard in the piece that uh, Barra had a tight race last year against OC. He had a tight race in 2012 yeah. when he unseated Dan Lundgren. Are you expecting another tight race here with these two going at each other? I think absolutely. This is a pattern that's developing because really the dynamics of the 7th Congressional District have not changed, Golston, and that is it is a very competitive race. Yeah. Democrats only have about a 2.5% uh, advantage in terms of registration, declined to states about 20%. So the reality is that whoever occupies this seat, whether it's a Democrat or Republican or somebody of a different party, would not have the ability to relax is, is not a seat for uh, a safe incumbent. And how vulnerable is Dr. Barra, and why is this particular, this District 7 seat, so hotly contested? Well, it's just rare in this uh, nation to have a district where you have a truly competitive race, and again, you have almost an even split between the two uh, major political parties. So you'll remember that in the last election cycle, both inside uh, the district interests and also super PACs from outside the district spent collectively almost $20 million on behalf of Ami Barra and uh, Doug Osi, uh, that was at the time last year the most expensive race in the entire nation. And it's not a stretch to think that we'll see something very similar coming up in 2016. Is the seat vulnerable? Absolutely it's vulnerable. It's uh, th no one who occupies the seat can, can relax simply because of the way the numbers are. And yeah. immigration and public safety, which Scott Jones is going to be talking about, very much on the minds of voters. And quickly, uh, a lot of money is probably going to be spent in this race. Do you expect it to get nasty? Well, I think so. I think Scott Jones said today that he wants to talk about President Obama's record, but uh, campaigns are about uh, differences with their opponents. You're going to see a lot of nasty ads next year, just like you saw in 2014. All right. Political analyst Kevin Riggs, thanks as always. Appreciate it.